Hi, I'm Will, and I'm cooking a vegan kale soup, seared salmon, and teriyaki onions here on the Giza Guide to Better Living. The goal is always to try to strive to eat better, and vegan seems to be a good way to go. Um, I've tried other types of vegan, but I wasn't too impressed. But I kept seeing this recipe over and over again on the internet, so I said that I would try to do it my way, and maybe I would like it. So I'm going to show you how I did it, and I end up liking it. These are the ingredients you will need to start off your soup. I start off my dish by mincing fresh garlic. So we're gonna need about two tablespoons. A little bit of oil and a half a cup of onions. I like mine to be a little toasted. We added in the garlic. A cup of sweet potato diced and cooked. Some vegetable stock. And we're also going to add in the almond milk. We'll do two cups of both. Cover and simmer. Now we're going to add in the four cups of kale. Make sure you remove the stems of the kale. Submerge it into the liquid so that it will wilt. Okay, we're going to cover it and bring it back up to a simmer. And once the kale has wilted, we're going to turn it off and let it sit to cool. And once it's cool, we're going to put it all in a blender and parade it. And back into the pot it goes. And you can add more seasoning if you want to at this time. Because you can get the real taste of how the soup is going to be. I like my food flavorful. So I let this simmer for about five to ten minutes. I like salmon, but I'm not a fan of raw fish. I like my hot food hot and my cold food cold. So fish, I have to say that I think that it should be warm. So when I cook my salmon, I don't overcook it to the point where it's dry. I always like that thin piece of pink like you do with a steak in the middle. So I just sear the sides and then I leave the inside hot and I can enjoy it that way. So we're going to sear our salmon in some olive oil 
about five to seven minutes on each side. Make sure that you coat your pan evenly because salmon has a tendency to stick. I'm going to place it in here for uh, seven minutes and while it's cooking, I'm going to start preparing the onions. I cut them very thinly. The smoke you see is from an incense. I'm not burning down the kitchen. So that's about seven minutes and we're gonna turn it. After seven minutes, I remove it and let it rest while I prepare the onions. And this is the finished result. You can add croutons, salsa, sour cream, anything that you like to the soup. So that's my take on this recipe. I hope that you like it. Go out and try it. Thank you for watching.